This is a quick demo to show you how you can create a VM in Google Cloud Platform, the GCP, and SSH into your instance. And finally, if you did decide to stop or terminate the instance, how you can do that. So let's get started. Before you begin, you obviously need a GCP account. And at this point in time, Google are providing a 300 free credit uh, to your account. Uh, so that's uh, for 12 months. So you have nothing to lose by signing up for it. Uh, so would encourage you to sign up. Uh, when you do sign up, uh, it will ask you for a credit card, but um, uh, you can be assured that they're not actually going to charge you once you exceed the $300 uh, dollar, uh, credit if you did do so. All right, so um, with that out of the way, let's move on uh, to our agenda itself. So the first thing is uh, let's uh, log in uh, into GCP console and create a VM and then move over to the next step that's accessing it over SSH. Uh, so I'm assuming that uh, if you are trying to use Ubuntu, uh, you're familiar with SSH and you already have an SSH key pair. Uh, if not, you'll want to go ahead and uh, create a key pair before proceeding. Uh, so let me get on to the console. Um, so here's the GCP console. Uh, keep in mind that um, the layout and the look and feel might vary by the time you see this. Uh, GCP is uh, continuously evolving. Um, so what you're seeing here is the home dashboard. Uh, but to create an instance, the quickest way is uh, to find it on the left navigation. And you should find under compute, uh, you have the compute engine and then click on VM instances. So at the VM instances, uh, since this uh, would most likely be the first time that you're running it, uh, you will come across this uh, prompt here because you don't already have any instances and then click on create. Now, uh, GCP um, has a few options that uh, we can choose from, but um, let's try and keep things as simple as possible. Um, so if you prefer Ubuntu, go ahead and change that to Ubuntu or uh, any flavor of your choice. Uh, you have a bunch of uh, different options right here. Uh, so pick one that suits you best or you are most familiar with. Uh, in my case, I've uh, taken Ubuntu 16 and we're going to keep much of the defaults as is. Uh, the only um, couple of parameters we will tweak uh, is uh, when you expand this uh, drop down here, you'll find that under the management section and then under SSH key are the only two things that we're going to touch for now. Uh, so uh, if you did decide to do a startup script, uh, which is similar to user data in case of AWS, you can obviously add uh, some scripts here. We are going to skip all of that. The, the one thing we will try and do is uh, try and use uh, preemptive uh, VMs. Uh, or rather preemptible VMs. Uh, the whole benefit of that, uh, again, if you're familiar with AWS uh, spot pricing, it's uh, very similar. So basically this is the standard uh, VM um, pricing for a one CPU with 3.7 GB of memory. Uh, this is the monthly cost that's uh, uh, slightly north of $24. Um, so if we change that to allow for preemptibility, uh, note that uh, that price comes down to $7. So that's a sizable saving. Again, you can customize uh, the CPU options and various others, but we leave everything as a default. Uh, one of the things uh, we did uh, need is uh, to access it over SSH. Uh, now, um, this SSH option is only for us to use it in case of the Ubuntu option, but let's go ahead and set it up in any case uh, since we'll be going through both options. But again, uh, you need to follow the step only for accessing it uh, through Ubuntu or uh, SSH client. Um, so head over to your Ubuntu machine. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm assuming you have already created um, um, uh, SSH uh, Keeper. So um, uh, SID. So here's your public key. Uh, so cat that ID RSA. Uh, pub in case uh, your configurations are different it'll it may have a different file name but most likely it should be the same let's go ahead and copy that and head back over to uh, the web console and here under web console under ssh key let's go ahead and paste that there and once you tab out you'll notice that it's automatically uh, detected the username from that um, uh, the content that you pasted there 
and um, just as a quick uh, hint uh, one of the ways that you can set it up globally so in our case we are setting it up for instance but if you wanted to set up these uh, SSH keys globally you can head over to compute engine and under metadata there's an SSH key tab and you can paste this there so that you don't have to do this for every uh, VM instance that you're creating uh, so that's basically it so let's go ahead and hit create um, and one of the things I'm really impressed with uh, GCP is how fast uh, the instance creation is as compared to AWS. Uh, if you have used AWS uh, before, uh, more recently, you would have noticed that uh, it takes a few minutes, uh, maybe about uh, two minutes for the instance to be created. But in case of GCP, as you're seeing, it's, uh, it's all set and ready to go. So that's awesome. Um, a few things worth noticing and we'll need this. So I'm just going to I mean, keep an eye on this or better yet, let me just go ahead and copy that. Uh, so now that we have an instance created and it's uh, running, let's go ahead and connect via SSH. So I mentioned there are two ways that you can do that. Option number one is uh, to use um, the GCP web console itself to SSH. And uh, this is uh, quite remarkable. Uh, and I'm truly impressed by uh, how well behaved uh, this uh, SSH uh, interface is. Um, so again, you don't have to do anything. Uh, in fact, you did not have to um, uh, to add your SSH key. Um, it basically gives you a browser-based access uh, using which you can SSH directly uh, to your instance. So here we go. This is the instance uh, and uh, basically via the browser um, you have a fully connected SSH uh, shell for you right here in a browser. Um, so that's um, uh, you know, that's the most convenient and quickest way that you can access your GCP via SSH and it's really handy if you wanted to uh, run and install stuff like say for example um, sudo apt oops uh, get update update uh, as you can see the the shell is uh, quite responsive it's browser based but uh, it's uh, as responsive as your SSH client would be so we can uh, we can do much of the setup and install from right here so for example if we were to install any applications to do um, oh, what's happening to my typing pt get install uh, say htop if we wanted to install any application using uh, app get um, as you can see it's uh, really convenient for us to access it directly from the browser uh, and even run applications uh, console applications directly from the browser so that's uh, that's awesome uh, but uh, let's move ahead and look at the next option which is uh, accessing uh, it via the SSH client so in our case um, we are going to use Ubuntu um, and do an SSH now in order for us to do an SSH uh, um, the uh, the only thing that you need to do is uh, you need to do your SSH and provide the name of the user. So you may remember when you pasted it, it uh, found the name to be Melvin. So uh, that's Melvin and I hope I've copied the IP address. Oops, I, there was an extra character here. Uh, let me copy that again. So SSH, uh, your username and this is the IP address, public IP address of that instance. Um, this is the first time we're accessing it, so let's hit yes, and there we go. We already have uh, uh, everything we need to access uh, your instance via SSH. You remember we already installed htop, so let's just run that here. As you can see, this is how most of us would access um, a remote um, uh, a Linux image um, using SSH anyways. Uh, so that's uh, that's a quick wrap into how you can access um, uh, your GCP instance uh, using SSH. Now if we go back to our agenda, the last step is to figure out if we want to keep the instance or terminate it. Obviously, uh, it's your call what you want to do with the instance. Uh, very similar to AWS, uh, you, you might decide that you want to just uh, stop the image so that you don't pay for compute, but you still pay for storage. Uh, or you might decide that you want to delete it. Uh, for purposes of what we need, uh, let's go ahead and delete this uh, since this was a quick, um, quick demo. So you can either 
hit delete here or there's an uber bar here where you can select multiple instances if you did have and let's go ahead and hit delete um, so it's uh, deleted that and um, the good thing about gcp uh, as just more recently per the announcements it moved to uh, pricing per second so that uh, that's uh, that's really good so you're only paying exactly for what you use uh, so that basically wraps up this quick demo of using um, uh, or how you can set up a vm using gcp if you like this video give it a thumbs up thanks for watching